Ottawa is boosting its response to the tragedy unfolding in Nepal. It's doubling its humanitarian assistance to $10 million and immediately deploying Canada's disaster assistance response team. A deployment of such DARP capabilities would be able to fill gaps, deliver results and support civilian-led humanitarian efforts in the immediate while exploring and developing subsequent or additional deployment options as new information is gathered. The move to sand in DART follows an assessment by a reconnaissance team that arrived in Nepal on Wednesday. DART will provide water purification, some primary medical care and engineering help. Now the help of DART and other international agencies is clearly needed. Senior correspondent Adrian Arsenault is part of the CBC's team in Nepal and in a trip to the country's north, she found just how easy it is for essential aid to be stopped in its tracks. So this is the single mud-packed road that connects a number of very small, uh, quite stricken villages. Uh, this particular one is a village called Tulusi Rubari. We had just gone down the road, came back to this village where we spent the night, and voila. Uh, this is one of the first uh, aid trucks we've seen, and unfortunately uh, it slid off the road a little bit here and they've been doing their best with what they've got uh, to try to sort of stabilize it enough. Part of the problem here is that uh, there is six tons of food loaded onto a truck which we're told is only a three ton capacity truck. So this particular truck doesn't come from a big aid agency or the government. This is full of grain uh, that was bought by local families here and a couple of small NGOs in, um, in Kathmandu and sent up here because part of what happened is that when the earthquake happened, people lost all their food supplies that they were hoping to store for up to a year. So they need this desperately. It's not going anywhere. Adrian Arsenault, CBC News, Tulusirubari in northeastern Nepal.